Well, look at that. Surprise. I think it worked. Surprise. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with the two inch brush. We're going to jump right in here. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of this color on my two inch brush. All right. Just making little circles up here. That's all he did. And uh, just kept the brush moving. All right, mine's going to actually end up being prettier than Locksmith's because I used a different color. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think that's because you got a little more experience. <laughs> His is going to look more original. Mine's going to look like a, well, we won't get into what that's going to look like. <laughs> all right, once he, uh, once he did all of this side right here, he took that two-inch brush and came up here, and he went to just pulling that white uh liquid white through the uh through the gray and i think he did that mainly just to, just to kill this side right here he said it was to make it look like light was coming through but once he did this all he did was uh he came back up here on this side and started him a new set of clouds and he well Locksmith's already done made them side, but I think he did that to uh, make it darker on this side so the light would show up better. And he just came up here then and just left a little room in there. Came back up here making the little circles again. That's all he done. All right, all I'm doing up here is just blending in with the same little, same little circles. That's all I'm doing. Because he's got a cowboy hat. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, isn't that funny? If, that, if I knew that was a trick all these years, man. It ain't the trick. <laughs> there is no trick. There, there's not. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. I like the cowboy hat. That's what. That's what Tracy said. Cool. Every all the women. I do too. I do too. You might want to invite your wife up in here. Baby, come here for a minute. <laughs> He was a kid when he was talking about don't don't let that brush stop. Yeah, it's uh whenever you're making clouds, if you stop that brush in one place, it'll go to just rubbing in one spot and making it look like a cotton ball in the sky. And this is my first time, man. It's pretty exciting. I appreciate everybody supporting me too, man. You let me jump on Harold, man. It's, it's awesome. Well, I'm tickled to death you here. All right, I guess we're going with the fan brush then. I'm just going, just going to try it out just to kind of see there. All right, so let me fluff these up, I guess. I'll make them look like clouds. I don't think they're supposed to be there, but. <laughs> she said, uh, I told her, I said, you know, get back from the, from the canvas a little bit. I said, then look at it. 
from a distance and tell me. And she, she, you know, she has trouble walking and getting up. Or if you didn't know that, you do now. But uh, she moved back from it, and I said, now, you tell me, what does that look like? And out of nowhere, she said, it looks like two cockroaches to me. <laughs> <laughs> Conservative, this is the one a colorblind person can do. Not actual blind blind. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about paint by Braille. Got the little soft blender going on because I don't have a Bob Ross blender yet. And it fixes those happy little accidents for you. It does. You know one thing I often wondered about this painting? What's that? If a fellow was to come in here and put just a little bit of white somewhere along this dark edge and pull that out that way to make it look like the sun's actually back here shining out, oh, I think yeah. that would look really, really good. I think that's what he was kind of meaning, but I'm with you. I think he was cleaning up that one edge. Well, I'm going to show you what I'm fixing to do. Uh oh, there he goes. If it don't work, it don't work. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna say I would like to, and probably not on this one. <laughs> well, but I'm just gonna try it because uh, I really think it look good in this particular paint. She says hello, Mister Harold. Hello. I got to get rid of my upwards rain. That's one thing, y'all. If, if y'all don't go straight across when you're blending that and you go up, I've learned that the hard way. It does look like it's raining upwards. Yep. It'll do it. Quickly. <laughs> All right. Mountain time. All right. I don't think I'm going to make the Bob style mountains. I'm going to do the Harold style. Stand yeah, four. Somebody said nice cowboy hat, Uncle David. Oh, well. Oh. Hey. You like my cowboy hat? I reckon I'm going to have to get me one now. Well, from, from all the, the 50 stages of, uh, yep, you're going to have to. I think this side, he said he took off a lot more paint than the other side. He did. Gotcha. That that gone piece of wood.
Oh, here we go. Here goes nothing. Richard said it ain't burning his eyes. Alright. You can do these like Bob, or you can, uh, however you want to do them. Yeah, old Bob, he had a bunch of little tricks up his sleeve. That in about 30 years of doing this. That's been the biggest trick he had. Yeah, that, ex yeah, that experience does help. I wonder if I can get my shirt down over it. Let me see if I can hide it. We don't need to get all ready in here again. <laughs> I'm trying to paint that gun. <laughs> it goes downhill from there. Cowboy hats and tutus. Y'all sick. <laughs> that that is a weird combination, y'all. <laughs> y'all y'all just some sick individuals. All right, Dean, time for another mountain. Crap. She went and bought the Bible into it. No. Oh. Well, I got I got to see what this one says. Huh? I gotta, I gotta see. Oh, Moni, Moni, don't do us like that now. She said I'm her favorite. Ah, I'm her favorite. And you know that part of that that did not make any sense to me at all. He put he put like little little tree reflections in the water. And, there's and there were no little trees sign. up there. And the mountain wasn't reflecting into the water at all. It's gotta be just for contrast for colorblind people, I think. Do they do they make you paint one in 30 minutes? Well, not your first week. Yeah. 
But yeah, before you leave, you will. I tell you today, you're going to have your most fun. You're going to come in one day, and you're going to sit down, you're going to start painting, and he's going to tell you to stop. And then the person that's sitting beside you, or a poet, wherever he chooses from, is going to come finish your painting, and you got to go over there and finish their painting. Now, that's not a bad idea. That's kind of cool. And then you'll, you'll have a ball while you're there. And if it's to where I could, I'd definitely be there. Well, it's pretty cool. My mother-in-law from Pennsylvania is actually coming into town um, and going to stay the week with my wife at an Airbnb down there while I'm going to class. Oh, well, that is cool. I've got a uh, I've got a brush beater rack down in a probably a twenty gallon garbage can. Okay. And I've washed my brush in my little bucket so much that my thinner is tall enough over here, and this one just reach down there and clean it off and it. Gotcha. It sounds like you've got the water hose going or something. I got to run to the bathroom every time. <laughs> well, then I'll make a little more noise next time. Uh oh, come on, man. Did Mick leave? He was in there earlier. I guess he did. Okay, if everybody didn't get to read what Annie Kate typed in the room, she said that 100,000 likes. She's giving away a piece of her resin art. Wait. And if you're not familiar with it, that stuff is absolutely gorgeous. So. More comfortable. <laughs> No, what's wrong with you? I can throw together something right quick. All right. Moni says she got to go fix her hair, man. It's that hat. Hey, I think she, I think she forgot to turn her volume back up, y'all. So uh, we still might get away with. It. And Dixie got one. And somebody else. I don't remember now. <laughs> hey man, I get there. Well, I'm kind of glad it's not a contest.
because I already would have done lost. Not at all. Because I built this mountain over here way wrong. That is not how Bob built this mountain. But, you know, I understand. She's young. She's confused about life. Confused, but not you are young. Oh, I got you. No, Moni, you ain't got to go on strike. It'll come back. It just gets super hot. <laughs> well, Joanne, his real name is Dave. That's me. Uh, he actually goes by the painting locksmith. And I guess he'll answer the mic if you throw magic in front of it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think the next step is pulling down those tree reflections that aren't there <laughs> and making a little water. Yeah, I thought you was going to say that. He just went back into that same, uh, same gray we made in the beginning, right? Yep. I think he used a one-inch brush on them. Well, I'm not. It'll get done a lot quicker with a two inch. That's what I'm going to use. I'm just wondering if I want to just make me some tapetries trees across there. Oh, yeah. I'll try the reflection. You do some trees. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about reflecting my trees into the water. Ah, gotcha. What? Kind of went up in here, and you know how Bob used like a one inch brush to pull up to make the trees and the ridges? Using the yeah. fan, kind of coming up with the fan brush just a little bit in front of the white on the mountains looks really good.
I do remember Bob saying when he was making his big trees with a pallet knife, lots of paint, lots of paint, lots of paint. Yep. Same deal with our fan brush. Yep. Night, sister. For your big trees. I'm on feet. But I, I throw the paint, the actual Bob Ross paint, I throw that to the wind now. Gotcha. I'm, I'm doing the arrow thing now. Damn four. This is a pretty cool little painting, man. It's all right. Got me a little crooked tree. All right. Looks like the wind blew him a little too hard that way. So I guess I got my light over here, so the light shade needs to be on the right side. Yeah, definitely appreciate it, man.
So we got the master and the grasshopper. Grasshopper learn. Good night. I tell you what, that little that little piece of bar of wood in the middle will mess you up. Now, Bob only did have one little water line on the bank on his. I'm adding a few. I like putting ripples in the water. I don't know about you. Yeah, a few here and there. This makes it makes it look more realistic. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you on wanting the light to come through the clouds over here on this side. Do what? Making making it look like there's light coming from behind those clouds. That would look awesome. It just looks like to me there's something missing in my painting right here, and that, that would make it look amazing. But I'm not gonna fool with it now. We we down here. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Somebody said yes, all thirty-eight of us. Are amazed. Well, thank you, Jerry. But that's okay. The world is a wheel. It keeps on spinning. Yes, sir. Well said.
Yeah, don't let it get you down, Sky. I don't know how many I painted that. Pop does it. Ain't never gonna work out real good for you. Cause old Bob, he was he was slick with it. Make sure you put a chimney on it, please. Chimney heard. Because if you don't, Trace and I to have a stroke. Well, I ain't going to have nobody stroking out on my account. No, don't do it. But now get this. If she paints one, she ain't got to put one on hers. <laughs> I'm talking about right now around Christmas time, Amy Kate. People have more important things to spend money on than paintings. Unless they're buying a painting for somebody for Christmas. Hey, have it. Thank you. I just kind of just now put my bank in over here. Got to put a little water line in and. But I tell you what, I got confidence in you. Blame it all on Amy Kate. <laughs> Molly said she's only here for the cowboy. Uh oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. I'm starting to wonder, Rose. I think I've just been being used all this time.
But, you know, it is what it is. What can I do about it? Keep on serving the people, my Ricky. They sure don't mind to kick a man when he's down. I'll tell them that. Oh, my Lord. They, they getting you tonight, Harold. Dang. Oh, it ain't just tonight. It's all the time. And then they keep saying, but we love you. Sheesh. Yeah. But we love <laughs> you. No, you don't. Not really. What's love got to do with it? Thank you. Thank you, Sojour. Sojour. Really wishing you how to say your name. I was I was wondering if you was gonna stroke out over there. I'm sure, 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 sure. Harold, do your trees need it? What you gonna do? Run your same tool? Trees have a multitude of sins. That's what the man himself said. He did, that's for sure. just got a wood burning stove pipe sticking up out the roof so this guy said he got hit by the wind this cabin? It does look a little, you know, like I said, it's got a little sway to it, but it's old, man. It's old. Been there for a while. It's got a gangster lean to it. <laughs> that like, it does. It's like one of them lowrider cars. Moni said it's full of cockroaches. God don't, Marty. We need a little bit of this back here with a little tree. Kind of. I don't want to see it when I'm doing it. I'm going to do that off camera so they can't see it. Pulling some sneaky, sneaky. Yup. So Zura wants to buy both paintings. Yeah, I'm sure he oh, does. That's awesome. Oh, now they get now they done gave him a tree a name. Oh my god. 
the leaning tree of Alaska. Who's got a leaning tree, me or you? Because I, I got a crooked, crooked behind a tree right there. Why are they talking about the tree that's about to fall off in the lake? I bet you ain't said that about. I bet you ain't said that about Bob Ross's crooked little behind tree. You said so Jour wanted to buy both paintings, but you know, did he did he say that in the room, or did he send you a message? Yes. Which one? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> in the room. Well, I didn't. I didn't see it. Yes, I said it in the room. You want to buy both paintings? You haven't even asked the price yet, Sojour. So, Sojour. Tell me how to say your name, please. Why does my hands look like that, man? Huh? Rookie. That, that's a rookie right there for you. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, reach over there to, to grab your, your paper palette and go, oh, yeah, there's paint there. <laughs> Duh. All right, what do I need to do? I need to bring out bushes out to the end here, it looks like. Cover that little piece of snow up. Well, thank you, Keith. I'm glad you made it. Bobble Bob says, yes. How you like that, man? There he is. Bobble Bob. I got to get some little uh, little watch batteries for him. He talks, but I don't know what he says yet. He might cuss me out for doing his painting this way, but you never know. I'm doing a lot of first tonight, Sojour, so I hope you uh hope you like Sweet man. Since tonight locksmith's first on everything, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it be my last. Hey, 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 hey. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give locksmith the brush. I'm gonna to hold the brushes like Bill did to Bob. Harold? What, what, what are you doing, man? I'm passing you the torch, bro. T -t 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 Tell me you're joking. You already got a channel with 4,000 followers and everything. Uh, not, not quite. <laughs> well,
Oh, I had to stand up for a minute, man. That uh, tear gets kind of hard, don't it? Oh, I hate this one I've got. I absolutely hate it. <clears throat> Well, Ken, come in here wearing a, oh, some kind of, some kind of hat, a whole bunch of different kind of hats. And I keep coming in here every night with this old raggedy, beat up baseball cap I got. Then you show up with a freaking Stetson. Do that. <laughs> I don't know if I ever want to paint on anything radius again. I hear you. Well, you did good on it. I'll say that. Appreciate it, brother. It looked real good. Man, this could almost be a Halloween tree, geez. So, sure, you see that H right there? That might be worth a million dollars one day because that's the last H I'll ever put on paint. Oh, my Lord, have mercy, Harold. <clears throat> well, so, sure, thank you very much, man. That was, uh. Yes, indeed. That was unexpected, it, man. We. It, it makes me, uh. Makes me feel good that they stand together. That's. How awesome is that, man? That's pretty cool. That's ah. Hold on a minute. <laughs> now, now I understand the feelies. Uh, you made my night, so sure I appreciate it. He said it's my my first uh, my first TikTok live, my first painting live, first cabin. <laughs> First time painting with Harold. First time selling the painting on uh, off TikTok, man. And this dude means a lot to me. And these going together, like it, it, it was, it was made made to happen that way, man. Thank you, thank you a lot. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Thanks, Rob G. Cabinet's way better than that picture. Oh my God, your tree's leaning. It's um. It looks like the Grinch's hat. Ain't nobody going to say nothing about your tree. Yeah. They'll say that's the best tree they've ever seen. Nice little water lines and reflections there. Yep. Look at that tree. Look at that, boy. Mm. That's the prettiest tree I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I love all y'all. You know what I do.
God loves you more. Uh, have a very blessed night. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for the support. I think we all had a good time. And I know Locksmith definitely needed it. Uh, thank you all for that. And I will see you all tomorrow night. I was sick on my birthday, so I didn't really, didn't really do much for my birthday. Besides sitting in the house and be sick. So I thought, since I'm back tonight, I would go ahead and celebrate my birthday with you guys. And <clears throat> got my own little birthday cake going on here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, y'all know what that is. That's for Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So I'm going to try to, with no more breath than I got, I'm going to try to blow these out and hope my wife didn't buy them kind that stay lit up. Uh-oh, they sparkling. I bet they are. I bet they relight. Really I hope not. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to make a wish. These, oh God, why did she do that? No, I ain't got no wood down here to put no, I ain't got no water. Throw that shit in a thunder bucket and catch the whole room on fire. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's our new puppers, man. And then there's my other little Yahoo. Which one? That's Sonny over there. So I <laughs> thought about maybe from now on when y'all send a gift, you know, I'll be like, ew, ew. You know, so <laughs> get, you know, one of them little things that one of them little things that make the sound uh the kudzu. You know. <laughs> Ain't said a hoochie. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it right here. <laughs> and every time y'all send a gift, I'm gonna be like, "Woo, roses! <laughs> Woo, ice cream! Woo, confetti!" <laughs> <laughs> I've got freaking tears in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Send that that three hundred thousand coin with what's it, the <laughs> line or whatever. I may jump in front of this thing and moon the freaking cameras off. <laughs> like, ooh, a lion! <laughs> warn me first. Warn me first. <laughs> I'll be like, ooh, Bob loves it. Ooh, Bob loves it. <laughs>